Hello, my name's Jo. I'm an artist based at In Bristol Studios. I make sculptures, prints and drawings and for many years I've used string and thread in my work. And today we're going to be using wool and sticks to make a magic wand. Lots of jangly bits on the end. So, we're going to make it by using brightly coloured wool, wrapping the stick and putting some leaves and ribbons and sparkly things on the end, which you can then use to cast spells, turn your little brother into a frog, or your, I don't know, sister into a strawberry, or whatever you desire, your magic is yours. So, that's what we'll be doing. But with the same technique, I'll just quickly show you. You can also make shapes to hang up. You can make triangles or squares or you could also make letters you could do the initials of your name and another option is to make a little hangy hangy thing a mobile you put it on your window okay but today it's the wand so let's get to it so here set out is everything you need to make a magic stick wand and other magic sticks that you can make into shapes and a hangy thing, which you can see on the instructions too. But today I'm going to focus on making a wand with you. So this is all you need. You have scissors, sticks, and a long stick here for the wand. Uh, we have some wool, and here is a, a stick wrapped. So you can see the kind of thing we're going to be doing with the wool. And this one is a lovely rainbow variegated wool, which is this one. You should have one like this in your, in your kit. And the wool changes colour all by itself. It's my favourite. And here we've got some sparkly things, a bit of netting, some pipe cleaners. You can also use feathers or leaves or flowers that you find out in the park as well. When you do collect things from the park, the sticks or, or the woods, you probably want to go for sticks that are about, I don't know, about 20 centimetres to 30 centimetres long or, or longer for the wand. And if they're wet, that, that's fine, but you just need to leave them to dry for a day or two before, before you start wrapping them in wool. You don't want to wrap damp sticks in wool. Okay, so I think... That's us ready to get started. So I'm going to take this out of the way. We'll save that for later. Take all the sticks out. And we are left with the wool and our wand stick and our scissors. So to start with, you want to choose the first colour you want to work with, which I will go for the yellow. So... You can wind it, still attached to the ball or the piece of cardboard that it's wrapped around, but I think it's easier sometimes to cut a piece off quite long or quite short, depends how much you want. And then you need to tie a knot onto the end of the stick, quite near the end, about two or three centimetres from the end of the stick. So to tie a knot, Wrap the wool around your finger, take the end, and tuck it up through the loop that you've created. I hope you can see that, I'll repeat that, maybe a bit closer to the camera. So around your finger and under and up through the loop and you've got a, a knot ready to be tied. You slip, slip it over the end of the stick, tie tight and then do another knot. Now I'll trim off the end to a couple of centimetres, but not too close to the knot, because then you're going to hold that little end with, with your, well, your left hand, if you're right-handed in your right hand, if you're left-handed, hold it down against the stick, and then with your other hand, grab the other piece of wool, and just start, start wrapping the stick round and round. 
And when you get to the knot in the piece of wool that you're covering, just carry on going. And by going over and over, you will eventually cover that whole knot until you're ready to tie another piece of wool on. So then, choose your next colour. I will have pink. So again, pull out some pink. Snip it off. Now this, this is, I'm gonna unravel it a bit just so I can hold it a bit nearer the camera. You get the two pieces of wool that you're joining and you get the ends together. And then how, just how you tied the knot before, holding them both together, you wrap, wrap around your finger, over the top of the first piece of wool, then up the loop, through, and pull tight. So I'll just trim that off there. And then back to wrapping. And when you get to the knot, same thing. You just hold, hold the end bits flat to the stick and just go right over them with the wool. Keep going. And eventually they're all hidden. Now you can go really thick with the wool and not show any stick, or you can, you know, you can start to space out the wool a bit so that you see some of the stick underneath. I quite like it when you see some of the stick. And with this little, this little nubbin offshoot here, you could break that off or, or you could just include it like I have. Now, when you start to get into the middle of the stick, it gets a bit hard to go round and round. So I switch into holding the wool with one hand and twisting the stick with the other. Now you can take your time. You don't, you don't have to rush. I'm probably going a bit quicker than I would do normally because I don't want the video to last forever. But um, you can really take your time and just relax into it. So I'm going to join another bit of wool here. Again, match the ends up. Now I've gone for the rainbow wool this time, so I'm not going to cut it off. I'm just going to let it let it go so that I get a few changes of colour. So again, round your finger, push the ends up through the circle, up through the loop, and tie. And again, just that off and then continue wrapping holding holding the ends down oh this is where it gets tricky there you go once you've got them down flat to the stick then you can just go over and over now my rainbow wool is really thin, so this is going to take a little while. Ah, here comes the purple. So I quite like the purple crossing over the blue like that. Okay, now all the way up to the end. Snip that off there. And I have one more colour. I think I'll have some orange. I haven't got any orange on here. Okay, 
Okay, and to tie off at the end, what you need to do is that you're tying a knot, but you're including the stick. So put your index finger close to the stick, the wool all the way around, and then tuck it under, oop, ah, tuck it under that bit of wool, and then pull tight and do it again. Over the finger, slip it under. A third time, just for luck. There you go, now that should hold pretty fast. Now if you want to, you can trim that off. But because I'm going to be making this one into a wand, I'm going to leave that there because I'm about to add some magic, magic end goodies. So we'll clear this away, bring in the sparkly stuff, and then I think starting at the top, we're just going to tie a knot in about the middle of these. You should have some ribbon and some fluorescent string. Oh, I pulled a little bit too hard there. Maybe don't do that. Although, still got one bit. Actually, if that does happen, just tie a knot in the end of the bit that broke off. It does not have to be perfect. This is your magic wand. You can make it how you wish. So have another bit. And again, about halfway. Tie a knot. Push it up to the end. Nice and tight. I'm just doing single knots. I don't think I don't think these are gonna come off. You can do double knots if you want. I've got a pipe cleaner, I'm just gonna twist that on. Go for some gold. I think I'll do this in a double. It's a little bit slippy. Fantastic green. And if you work your way down from the tip, it, it keeps things a little bit tidier so it's easier to get those knots in. Ooh, got some fluorescent pink, have some of that. Another down to here. I might turn it over just so I've got some knots on the other side. Oh, I've got a nice thick bit of kind of plasticky ribbon. Put that on next. You can add other things on here. If you, if when you're at the park getting your sticks, and you see some nice leaves or, or flowers um, or, or maybe some feathers. You might find a bird's feather. You can, you can include that. Actually, I've got some leaves just here. I'll show you, show you what I mean. Down here, so they, do, they do wilt quite quickly, but they're, they're good for colour. So here, you could lay a leaf on there and then just tie it in with the next, the next sparkly bit. I've got a flower, I could do that too. So yeah, it's up to you. This is your wand. Put in what? What you want to, what you want to include, and then when you've decided you've got enough sparkly bits, I'll do one more pipe, one more pipe cleaner. Then you're good to go. Whoop! Yeah, you have made a magic stick wand. 
Ta-da! So off you go. It is ready for casting spells. Turn your little little sister into a frog or a strawberry. And um, yeah, use your magic powers. Off you go. Thank you for watching.